I am Kip K. Welcome back to another weekend project from Make Magazine. I've gotten asked over the years a lot of different questions. For example, how did you learn how to do all this cool stuff? And where do you get your ideas for your projects? Well, all the projects that I do for Make's weekend project are either out of Make Magazine or they're from kits that you can find in the Maker Shed. And where did I learn to do what I do? Well, I guess I've just been a tinkerer for a long time. Trial and error, I'm pretty much self-taught, which becomes apparent on some of my projects. But what if I were to lie? What if I were to say, Albert Einstein is my great-grandfather? Wouldn't it be cool if you could tell if someone was lying by a physical change on their body? Well, fortunately, that doesn't happen in the real world, but there are devices that can distinguish between the truth and a lie. Take, for example, the Truth wristband, which we're going to build today. And it will only take about two minutes to build. You can find the Truth wristband kit in the Maker Shed, so head on over there and pick up your very own. And once you have it, open up the package and inspect all of the contents. The Truth wristband kit has a parts list and also detailed instructions on how to build it, which is what we're going to be using. There's one circuit board, and the first step is to install the IC sockets. Be sure to match the notch on the end of the socket with the notch on the circuit board. And what I find is handy is to bend over two pins in opposite corners and this will hold the socket in place while you go through the soldering each connection. After both sockets are soldered, it's time to solder in the resistors, followed by the on-off switch and the three capacitors. We also need to solder in two wires to the board and those will go to our finger contact. Our power source is two AAA batteries, so solder in both of those battery holders paying attention to the positive and negative orientation. And finally, our five RGB LEDs need to be soldered in place. Pay attention to the anode. It's clearly marked on the circuit board, and the anode is the longer lead on the LEDs. Be sure the LEDs are pushed all the way down and seated firmly. There are two finger contacts that act as the sensors. These will come in contact with the sweat glands on your finger, which will enable the Truth wristband to measure your galvanic skin response. The last step is to attach the cover plate using the included screws and spacers. Those go through the circuit board. Then the Velcro strap attaches on the back using the nuts. Okay, the Truth wristband is finished and it's ready to actually place on someone's finger. I'll use my own. And... We're going to secure the band and make sure we've got good contact on my finger. And we're going to turn on the Truth wristband. Now initially it will light up red and then the LEDs should turn blue. And now if I was asked a question like, hmm, have I ever stolen anything before in my life? The answer would be, of course not. I never have, and I never will. Well, the truth or lie will be shown by how much red is exposed on the truth wristband. Let's try one more test. Well, no one was around except one of my cats, so I thought I'd give it a try with my buddy Domino. And he's usually pretty willing to cooperate. Domino, do you like the truth wristband? Okay, it won't work with cats, but it will work with your friend. So head on over to the Maker Shed and pick up your very own Truth Wristband Kit. I'm Kip K. We'll see you next week with another weekend project. No, seriously, I'll see you next week. See you next week.